Joker first stole our hearts as the elegant main character in Atlas Mega Hit Persona 5. In his game, the versatile Phantom Thief has spells and weapons of all sorts at his disposal to deal with any kind of foe. In Smash Ultimate, Joker bursts into the scene as the first DLC character in the game's fighter pass, shocking and delighting Persona fans worldwide with his inclusion. Upon his release, Smash players instantly recognize Joker as a strong character, with world number one player and current best Joker MK Leo instantly taking a liking to him. Joker's fast movement, versatile combos, and deadly arson factor make him a contender for the best character in Smash Ultimate. And in this video, we're going to show you just what makes Joker so broken and how you can abuse him yourself. If you're excited to learn more about Smash Ultimate, make sure you check out ProGuys.com for access to live coaches, resources like our tier list, and our pro course featuring MKLeo. Joker has plenty of strong points that make him such a dominant character in the meta, but his combo game surely stands out. With fast ground speed, fall speed, and frame data, Joker has numerous ways to link his moves at almost any percent. Let's start with grab combos. At low percents, Joker can combo down throw into forward air or up throw into up air. At zero, you can delay the short hop fare ever so slightly out of down throw, fast fall, and extend the combo with the dash attack for more damage. Similarly, if you slightly delay the up air out of up throw, you can fast fall and drag the opponent down for potential regrab. This drag down works better on fast fallers. For the most part, you're going to want to use down throw fair if you aren't near a platform, and up throw up air when a platform is nearby. Down throw fair continues to combo until mid percents. You'll just need to switch from a short hop fair to a full hop fair and eventually an instant double jump fair to ascend more quickly. Down throw has other follow-ups as well. At low and early mid percents, down throw can combo into a turnaround back air. To input this, you can hold the left stick up and backwards to manually buffer a turnaround in place out of the down throw animation. You'll need to get a feel for the timing, but as soon as you turn around, you can immediately jump forward with the back air. Keep in mind that this will require stick jump to be turned off. If your opponent doesn't DI the down throw away, or if their character has a very large hurt box, you can combo down throw into a short hop drag down, up air at low and mid percents. This drag down true combos into a regrab so you can get even more damage. In order to get this up air to drag down properly and combo out of down throw, you won't be able to delay the up air because it will most likely miss altogether. Run forward after the down throw, then input a rising short hop up air and fast fall towards the end of the up air animation as it hits. To make this fast fall timing a bit easier, you can continue to hold down after your first attempt at fast falling and flick the C stick in any direction besides down. This will give you an additional fast fall input without requiring you to return the left stick to neutral position and flick down again. Either way, the timing for this drag down is a bit tricky, but you can certainly get it consistently with practice. All of these combos will certainly let you rack up decent amounts of damage, but you never see them coming when his platform combos start. If you manage to land an up throw beneath the platform, you have many means of extending the combo further. You can start with a short hop up air, then go for a full hop up air and land on the platform, and subsequently follow up with another aerial. If you're playing on a tri-plat stage like Battlefield, you can opt for a third up air to land on the top platform and potentially go for yet another aerial after this. What makes Joker's platform combo game so special is that any of the full hop up airs in these strings can be fast fallen at the right time to drag down and combo into a regrab. This lets you deal more damage and diversify your combo creativity. The fun doesn't end there. If you opt to connect the last hit of an up air, you can potentially land and go for a grappling hook to snatch your opponent out of the sky and combo into another arrow afterwards. The grappling hook, which also acts as Joker's recovery without arson, is a very unique move that works similarly to a grab, but doesn't beat shield like a command grab would. When performed from the ground, grappling hook will latch into opponents in its pad and pull them down into the ground, where they'll then bounce upwards in front of Joker for a potential follow-up. When performed from the air, the grappling hook won't grab the opponent, but rather knock them slightly up and away. You can use this to extend combos by grappling after a rising up air before landing. This can also be used to read opponents jumping away, and in rare cases, even take stocks. In either form, grappling hook can be aimed left or right, but is limited to one angle, so be sure to adjust your positioning accordingly before going for this move. 
Interestingly, the grappling hook does not actually make an appearance in Persona 5, but is revealed to be a new feature in the upcoming Persona 5 Royal. Grappling Hook's appearance in Smash was actually this move's first reveal. Now let's look at Joker's other combo starters. At low percents, a Nair or back air can combo into a grab. At mid percents, Nair can link into dash attack, and back air can sometimes combo into Aha, Joker's side B. If your opponent DIs in on Aha, you can potentially combo another back air out of it as well. Without Arson, down air can combo into grab or dash attack, and with Arson, down air becomes a powerful spike that has tons of combo potentials as well. Arson down air can combo into a grab at low percents, and at high mid percents, it can combo into an up smash, which takes stocks very early on lighter characters. At high percents, arson down air combos into basically any aerial, so go for an up air, fair or bare to close out the stock. So, just what is arson anyway? Arson is Joker's persona ability, which allows him to summon an entity to fight by his side. In Persona 5, Joker can actually summon dozens of different personas, but Sakurai probably realized he was broken enough with just one. In Smash Ultimate, Arson increases the damage, knockback, and hitbox size of Joker's moveset. Arson activates when Joker's Rebellion gauge is filled up, which happens slowly over time, but fills up more when he is hit or counters something with his down special. Rebel's Guard. Once Arson is active, the meter will slowly deplete over time and depleted more when he's hit. Joker's combos mentioned early work more or less the same with Arson, but some extensions may not apply at higher percents as Arson has greater knockback. Joker's forward air is another unique and extremely important part of his combo game. If Joker lands with only the first hit of his forward air, the opponent will be sent upwards with decent hit stun and fairly low knockback, even at higher percents. At low percents, Fair One can combo into another falling forward air to drag the opponent back down for a grab. Most of the time, however, Fair One will be Joker's go-to kill confirm tool. At higher percents, Fair One will combo into up smash. With Arson, this can work on the entire cast at kill percents, but without Arson, the up smash will stop comboing at percents where many characters will need to be at to be KO'd. In this case, Joker has a flashy yet optimal alternative. Fair One can link into a slightly delayed up air, which can then be dragged down and comboed into a down smash. If Joker lands the Fair One below a platform, he can instead drag the opponent down into the platform, again with a delayed short hop up air, and combo it into an up smash below the platform. These setups work with Arson too, but his up smash alone should be strong enough to do the trick. There's one last Joker combo we need to talk about, and this one might just be the most interesting. When Joker drags an opponent down into a platform from below, he actually has time to combo this into another up air and repeat the process. Discovered by Leffen, this crudely named Lefabo is actually a guaranteed infinite combo, but it requires extreme precision to execute and only deals tiny amounts of damage per each loop. So you'll rarely see much of this in a tournament. With combos out of the way, we take a step back to where it all starts, neutral. Joker has a variety of tools to play neutral in versatile ways that suit the player. Joker's fast ground speed and dash dance allow him to effectively whip punish with grab and dash attack. Dash attack is also very fast, has two hits, and covers a large distance, making it a brilliant zone breaker. Joker can space Nair and Bear to find potential combos and likewise look for fair one opportunities at kill percents. Forward tilt can be used as a less committal close range whiff punish and also acts as a safe poke on shield when spaced properly. The unique options in neutral are Joker's special moves, Gun and Aha. Gun is a weak but pesky projectile that Joker can perform in a variety of ways to apply pressure from a distance. He can perform two shots out of a short hop and can opt to slide out of the first shot for a quick burst of speed. Gun is also stronger with Arson, basically just making these same strategies more effective. Aha shoots a fireball at a downward diagonal angle across the stage. This move does a small amount of percents when it hits, but has a poison property that continues to damage the opponent over time until it deals the full damage value. With Arson, this projectile becomes a Gaon and travels extremely fast, has an explosion hitbox that activates when it lands and deals 20 damage over time. Gun and AI allow Joker to play more passively in neutral, which can frustrate opponents and also gives him more time to fill his Rebellion Gauge and unleash Arson. 
Another huge strength is Joker's edge guarding. Joker's fast fall speed, coupled with amazing frame data on his back air, allow him to go extremely deep and edge guard most characters easily. Joker's back air not only comes out relatively fast, but it also has low end lag, allowing him to throw out multiple bears and one edge guard sequence. With Arson, back air is also incredibly strong, and down air becomes a powerful spike that can make edge guarding some recoveries almost effortless. Joker can also shoot his guns downward offstage to take jumps and interrupt recoveries, easily gimping some characters such as other Jokers in the ditto. Last but not least, Joker has some unique options and disadvantage. When landing, Joker can aim his guns downwards to ward off opponents below him. He can act almost immediately out this, switching quickly to an aerial, double jump, or even Rebel's Guard. Rebel's Guard, Joker's Down Special, is a counter-style move that can be held for different lengths of time. Getting hit during Rebel's Guard will fill your Rebellion gauge proportionally to the damage dealt by the countered attack. You'll need to release the Rebel's Guard input to activate a counter hitbox after you've hit during it. This move is risky to land with, as it can be easily grabbed and gathers additional end lag the longer you hold it out for. A great use for Rebel's Guard is to avoid edge guards by holding it as you drop down below the ledge. As you pass the ledge, using Aha or Iagon is another great tactic to stall an onstage opponent on their way to edge guard you. With Arson, Joker's down special becomes Tetrakarn and Makarakarn, which counters melee attacks and reflects projectiles. This counter can also be used like any other, but its quick frame data and hit detection range make it particularly strong, even catching some recovery hitboxes beneath the ledge. This sure is a lot of knowledge to take in, but we're sure that with a lot of practice, your Joker will be looking cool. Don't forget to shoot that subscribe button and slide on over to the notification bell to make sure you don't miss a thing from Pro Guides.